7 p.m., which is a meeting of the Arena Advisory Committee by Zoom. And um, being hosted by Courtney. Thank you, Courtney. Uh, announcements. Um, I have, um, does anybody have any announcement or any comment? Okay, I have one. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to our newest committee member, Sam Pepper. Sam, you're on, can you hear us? I can hear you, can you guys hear me? Yes, we can see you. All right, well. good evening, everybody. And um, uh, I'd like to invite you to tell us a little bit about yourself and um, coming okay. on to the committee. Sure, sure. Um, I um, have a home on Old Kings Highway, 84 Old Kings Highway in Wellfleet. We've owned it for about uh, six years. And um, we've been coming to Wellfleet for probably 40 years uh, on vacation. But six years ago, we pulled the trigger and bought a place. We love it. We spend a lot of time in Wellfleet. We do have another home on the South Shore of Boston. Um, I am a lifelong boater, a lot of sailing um, in my background. So a lot of hanging out at marinas in different areas. Um, I currently own a 24-foot um, center console powerboat that I, um, we, we have a home in Norwell on the North River. I travel the North River and uh, occasionally get out to Wellfleet next summer. This is my first summer owning. So hopefully next summer, um, get a few more trips in with the new dredged uh, clean harbor. And um, so I'm looking forward to just kind of working with you guys and learning more about what's happening on the waterfront in, um, in Wellfleet. And certainly I go down quite a bit and watch the dredge, so <laughs> dredging. So I know it's a pretty active area right now. And one last, um, I did serve, I used to live in the town of Wayland in um, a Metro West area and I was on the finance committee there for 10 years. So I've done, uh, done some uh, time on, um, on, you know, volunteering on, on town boards and committees. So, but I'm, Excited to be with you guys. Well, we're glad to have you, Sam. Um, any other um, open session comments, anybody? Okay. Um, we can move on um, to approval of the minutes. Um, the first one is September 2nd. Um, I sent it out to everybody. Has everybody had a chance to take a look at it? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Does anybody need any additional time to review it? <clears throat> nope. Okay. Okay. Are there um, any corrections or amendments offered? Hearing none, do we have a motion? I'll make the motion. Martha and a second. I'll second. Walter. Okay. Um, all in favor, say aye. 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 Is there any uh, opposed? Okay, it passes unanimously. Um, we're now looking at the most recent minutes for October 7th meeting. Um, does anybody need any more time? Yeah, I have, well, I have a comment mm -hmm. that I left out of the members attending, so I'd like to be added in. Okay. Because I was there. <laughs> yeah. And you don't get paid unless you're there, right? Walter? Right, right. <laughs> the union, for, <laughs> union demands it. That's right. Does anybody else have... Any comments or corrections? Okay, hearing none, um, do we have a motion? I'll make a motion to accept as amended. Okay. Second. Second, John. Welcome, John. Hello, sorry I'm late. Okay, all in favor? approval uh, present were John, David, Martha, Joe, and Walter. Uh, all of Aye. those people in favor? Aye. Uh, okay, any opposed? Okay, the motion passes. Um, next on the agenda is the Harbor Master 
support. Um, Will, you want to fill us in on that? Sure. Uh, we are starting the winter cleanup, as we like to call it, uh, getting all the docks out, pulling everything out, getting ready for the winter, moving boats around, setting aside any docks that need maintenance, and basically time to time to wrap it up, wrap it up for the year. Um, that's pretty much our big game right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, anybody have any any questions or any comments? The will all be getting my boat out on Saturday. <laughs> Slacker. Excellent. <laughs> there's there's not much good sailing weather left. Although I did go for a sail on Saturday. We went out um, so for, for about six, seven hours on Saturday sailing around the bay. That was pretty nice. <laughs> but, uh, That's awesome. Not many days like that left, yeah. You know, we, we got some nice ones coming up, uh, or, you know, for the weekend. But uh, Saturday is probably going to be the, one of the last nice ones for hauling out, so. Uh, you you can have them, John. <laughs> I actually went down to Sasua today with Keith Cott's catamaran, and it was a pretty nice day out there. A little chilly, yeah. but uh, sunny, brisk. You could blow tomorrow. Yeah, that's why we went today. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tomorrow's going to be too blustery. But Friday will be nice. Mm -hmm. Saturday will be perfect for the launch ramp. There you go. Okay, um, dredging update. Um, we were notified that they are, Cashman is at the two thirds mark uh, to complete dredging. Um, the weather for the most part has been cooperative and they are um, well on their schedule. Um, the, town, the dredging committee in the town approved the um, town's engineering contract to move ahead, securing the um, area one dredging permit, which would allow us to start the piggyback dredging. Um, the one final piece, a review by the Army Corps um, has not been signed off on yet. Uh, we're told it should come any day. And following the, um, the state procedures, um, advertising and so forth, um, the bidding process, we're told, should, um, the bid should be in in about two and a half weeks, at which, at which time one will be awarded and hopefully um, put us in position to start the piggyback dredging by the fuel dock, which is called the access channel in front of the launching ramp. Um, they continue to work 24 seven. And um, we have a lot of witnesses down there watching. We seem to be enjoying it. Anybody um, have any comments or questions about that? Yeah, I have a question. Uh, I saw the Corps of Engineers boat down there. I'm assuming that that's for the final uh, survey to approve the dredging as completed, the first phase? Well, we're told they survey from time to time to ensure accuracy. So you're waiting on basically one uh, signature to allow the process for allow the permit to be issued by the allow permit okay right Sorry. that is not going to hold up the bidding process okay that that process has already started the notice of intent was another sign off that was required right it was submitted to the conservation commission i attended that meeting a week and a half ago it was approved so the final step is a review um, 
by the Army Corps, and and uh, we should know more within the next few days. But the engineers are telling us they don't see that as an obstacle. It's um, a kind of a formal completion of the process. And um, the weather continues to be good. Um, it looks like they may even finish ahead of schedule. Right. So we'll hope for the best. <clears throat> and that will give us a head start on next year's trip to complete area one all the way around the pier um, to all the slips on the other side for a year from now. So well, that's contingent on securing funding for that portion, right? Um, the town has already allocated part partial funding and we would be looking for the state to jump in on that as well. And that process is already started. Okay. So, so let me make myself clear here. What's going to be done right now between like the gas dock and over to like the launching ramp? Right. That's it. Yeah, but that's part of the piggyback dredging or that, that's no, part that, of the current dredging? That, that, that is the piggyback dredging. It is part of area one. Area okay. one extends from the fuel dock all the way around the pier to the slips. Okay, but when you say it's going out to bid, uh, the same company that's there dredging it now won't theoretically could maybe not bid on it or? Anybody can bid on it, okay? What we're hoping for is the company that is there now would successfully bid on it given the fact that their equipment is already there. Okay, and so then they would basically just continue on what they're doing now until about the 1st of December or so? Well, they would, they would complete their present project, which is the channel only, which is okay. funded. If they win the bid, then they would transition right over to the piggyback area, the fuel dock and in front of the launching ramp and do that piggyback area which is the start of area one. Okay, so that would be theoretically done at what time? From December 1st to December 31st. Okay. It has to end by federal regulation yeah. December 31st because of the right whales and the flounder. So, you know, does this look like it is something that's going to be done? I mean, is it going to be signed off on in time for the bids to go out and everything? Yes. Okay. That's what we're told. That's why um, the engineers that the town has contracted with has started the bidding process. Okay. Because they anticipate a full approval on that final review. So it's going to be that whole area from the gas tank to the launching ring, correct? Yes. Okay. In the fuel area, the fuel dock. The fuel dock, and then like the courtesy dock area, and yeah, right, in yeah. that area, right in front of the launching ramp. Yeah. Okay. So, would everybody, would all the equipment and docks and everything in that area have to just be pulled out immediately, or they would just wait and see? They they would. <laughs> uh, when it goes to bidding, we'll pull it out. Um, because we're in the process of pulling them out anyway. Um, what I want to make clear to, to, to everyone, though, including Martha, is that we are running close here. We're running very close to the line of them being able to bid it out, get the bids back, the RFPs, get the RFIs back and forth. We are running extremely tight margins here. Um, hopefully it all goes our way but we're running very close. Um, but, what about the boaters that have boats in that area? Uh, the, you know, the, 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 the draggers and whatnot, are they aware of what's going on? Are those guys informed? Yes, yes, they are. Uh, one of them has already moved out back. Um, the other one could be moved to the outside of that pier. Um, the other guys are aware that all the docks will be being slipped right out real quick but primarily most of them are going to shoot out back anyway and then we move them around to get swap out the docks so 
so we don't have our summer ducks in out front anyway. So, right. yeah, they're all getting ready. Um, everyone's moving towards it. Um, obviously, we'll switch directions as soon as that goes out. If we're not at that point already, those docks will come out instantaneously. Um, but it is, we are running thin on time here. Yeah, for sure. Are there any other um, questions or comments? Um, yeah, concerning the rest of Area One, uh, does the state is the state is requiring us to have a maintenance <laughs> plan in place before they'll get up off the money, right? That's correct. Do we have one yet? That that is um, the plan has been submitted by the engineers, and there'll be a lot of focus on that. Um, as we get closer. Okay. Oh, they only have one barge, right? One one dumping barge. Or do they have two? They have two. There is two. Okay. Yeah. One is larger than the other. Oh, okay. It's kind of confusing sometimes. Sometimes <laughs> they're all folded up. Sometimes they're going like crazy. Sometimes, you know, it's, they're all, it's always different down there. That's for sure. Okay, um, any marina concerns or suggestions? Uh, I got a question. Yeah. Uh, to Will, uh, are you gonna do any maintenance on the docks this, this winter, like pressure washing or? Uh, yep. What's your plan with that? Section by section. Section uh, by think, section. Yeah, yeah, so we'll attack. Um, right now, what we're doing when we stack them is pulling out what we've gone through and labeled, relabeled all the docks um, already. Um, and what, we're, what we are doing is currently pulling out any of the docks that need any kind of major maintenance out of the stack. Minor maintenance can be done along the way, but anything with some major issues, uh, we're pulling out to the side from those, moving along with that. And then we'll pull out a whole section uh, once we're done with everything and continue that. Have you get have you guys thought about uh, 86 and all that that black pipe for water and maybe starting fresh next year or, or is that something that might happen? All depends on the budget. Budget, yeah. Have you priced out that pipe at all? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Are the old concrete docks going to be replaced this winter? Which ones? Down in D. D section should be replaced. Yeah. Yeah, those are pretty bad about down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah we continue bad. to build them um, during the off season, and we have we have a few of them built already, and then we'll just continue on building them. Um, whether it's all of D all of the part of V, uh, those docks can be cut up into pieces very easily. So uh, whatever we can build, we'll replace. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what about um, the old docks um, that um, are on the pier that have to be disposed of? Are they gonna be taken out and where would they go, the dump? Which ones are you referring to? The ones that were taken out last year that are no longer used that are on the on the pier. Uh, I don't recall any that aren't used. I don't remember seeing any laying around on the pier. pier. Yeah, next to um, that little yard where the old harbor master boat is. Those are our winter mosquito docks. The ones you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, we put them in during the winter for the mosquito fleet. Okay. So that way we don't destroy their um, summer docks. And then in the summertime or springtime, when we go to put in their three season dock, we have um, still have those docks and we are allowed to do maintenance like we did this past year on their dock. So again, just like last year, those will go in in the winter when the other ones come out. Okay. 
There's a there's a whole bunch of uh, the old concrete docks down in the town pit there. I'm just wondering what's going to happen with them at some point. I mean, that's where they put all the ones that they have hauled out so far. Yeah, 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 and we got more to go. Yeah, more to go. I know. <laughs> yeah. So that's just they're just stored there till somebody can figure out well what to do with them. I take it. Uh, pretty much until we get them all going. Yeah. So we can get them all out. We've got a stack of them down hanging out in the cove and anything we cut out this year, the DPW is helping us take them out. They'll pick them up, bring them down there, store them there, dry them out. And, uh, and then when we get it all done, we'll get rid of them. Any, um, any new business or future concerns? Um, down the road, anybody have? Well, I have a suggestion for next year. Uh, I was down the pier a number of times, obviously, this summer. And on a nice day on the weekend when there was big tides in the middle of the day, there's a lot of craziness going on down there. And I think it would be good to have a, a harbor master assistant down right down on the floats where the ramp is to kind of direct traffic and stuff. because people were doing all kinds of crazy things down there. And I think a, a, a representation of authority down there would be something good to have, especially on the, you know, Saturday and a Sunday in August when uh, people are going nuts down there. And, you know, we saw the, there was a guy that ran into a trailer uh, and a bow as a, a guy was backing down the ramp. Somebody tried to scoot between the ramp and the, and the trailer and, the, and the, it was a pretty good accident. Uh, just think a little more representation would be nice. I, I wish, wish we could be everywhere at once. I think that gets to something I raised a while back about uh, speed regulations, and and the you know it came to light that we we really don't have enough people on the staff. Mm -hmm. When are you going to start? Well, that's what, that, that's what I'm saying is you know you can't be everywhere at once, and yeah. uh, what is involved in uh, uh, maybe getting the town to think in terms of hiring some more people for your staff having them apply oh, <laughs> is there an oh. ad out or anything or oh yeah yeah we've put ads out um and we've almost pretty much taken everyone that's applied just to continually try and train people and fill the staff just like every restaurant like you hear on the news everywhere um no one has the staff no one has the part, you know, I mean, seasonal jobs, seasonal staff. No one's got it. Hmm. Nobody's got it. Um, okay, so it's pretty much it. not enough people, basically. Yeah, yeah. So when, um, when is Mike actually retiring? <laughs> December 31st. Okay, and so then what's gonna be the process from then the job will be advertised? Then the job will be advertised. Um, I'm not sure when um, the job will be advertised after that, being a the holidays. But also, I believe after that, um, he'll be using up um, any any leftover time. So I don't know if they can advertise or cannot advertise before he uses up any leftover uh, time, unless they settle out with, with him on that. Um, that being the case. Uh, that could bring us to mid February before a job is open, or they could advertise it and get ready to hire in the process. I'm not sure how they'll go about that process. Um, but that would be the next timeline, but they'd have to advertise it uh, for usually everything seems to be two weeks, but uh, they also have to advertise it in house for a week or so before that. Um, and then they can interview uh, any potential job applicants and then hire from there. And then when they hire, usually there is a probationary period um, to be gone through. Well, Mike still hasn't really, really retired at all yet. December 31st. He put in his paperwork to retire on the 31st. 
Okay. And he advised the town of that as well. Well, hey, anybody have anything else? Okay, looking at the calendar, four weeks would be Wednesday, December 2nd. How does that sit uh, with everybody's schedule? I'm clear for that day. Yeah. Yep, I should be good. Dave? Yeah, it looks good on my end. Yeah. Uh, no problem. Okay. All right. Why don't we put that down on the calendar? Four weeks, Wednesday, December 2nd. And um, I'll get the paperwork out to everybody. Do we have a motion to adjourn? Martha? I'll second. John, second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.